right in the studio. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling? All right, let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm going to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Uh, the latest talk I'm going to talk about today is the shortage of fast food workers and the unfortunate things that I have to tell you about because I have a story to tell you on regards of what happened when I went to Wendy's, I go in to eat and all that stuff, you know, try to do a little work on my computer here and there, you know, and then the unfortunate thing is, um, I go in there, um, I order from Wendy's and then once I went in there, they, the, the restaurant manager or one of the workers turned me around and said, oh, the lobby's cold, you have to go to the, the drive through um, let me remind you, I had to walk cause there was something wrong with my car that day. Um, and then I have to walk an extra mile to Crystal's, which is off. The lobby's also closed. And then I compl complained to the manager at Wendy's and she looked like she had an attitude and all this stuff. And to top it all off, she apologized, but it sounded like when I was on the phone with her complaining about the problem, I felt like she didn't care. She immediately hung up and all this stuff. So, um, that feeling right there, um, have you ever felt so neglected, so angry and so upset that you had to, you know, you wanted to or and you were so hungry and you were very pissed off that you want to unleash your rage at all the workers because they ain't treating you right and all this stuff. Well, um, there is several videos, um, that I watch uh, people throwing fits over certain stuff like not like say for instance not getting the right food the order wrong the fries are cold uh, all that stuff and to top it all off there is a video in a woman a pregnant woman at that she was hungry and angry at the same time let me give you the term hangry and then her name is Tianis Jones she is from Florida well you get all these stories from Florida Alligators attacking people, eating people, you know, buildings collapsing and all that stuff. But anyway, um, so Tianis Jones went in there. She was very upset because the order was wrong. And she complained. She explained the problem, um, uh, as the video shows. Uh, and let me remind you, uh, millions of people are talking about her. Um, after the video emerged, she got charged with whatever. Um, and then people are making their way to make fun of her, call her heifer and all this stuff while she was pregnant. And, you know, the sheriff uh, made fun of her so bad that, you know, one of her attorneys had to go address the situation and confront uh, Sheriff Grady Judd for his comment about her being pregnant, getting upset, you know, making all these McDonald's jokes or whatever. So to, let's uh, give, a, give an example of that, you know, I mean, a lot of people are coming out after that one person, after the person threw a temper tantrum, getting upset. You know, she pregnant, she was crying. You know, pregnancy cravings are no joke. You know, you get pregnant, you know, you hungry, you know, you got to feed your baby and all that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what happened right there. You know, she got charged. You know, I don't know what's going to happen from there, but we'll find out. If I get an update, I will definitely let you guys know. But enough of that. Let me go back to my story. So, um, I was at Wendy's. I was very upset. Had to walk um, to Crystal's. Also, the lobby's closed. So, guess where I end up eating at? I ended up eating up at Dairy Queen, you know. And then the uh, uh, Wendy's on that suspicious, suspicious, specific location. Sorry. Sorry. The specific location of that Wendy's that I try to go to, you know, it has a lot of problems in the past, you know. The cars are lined up all the time, you know, just like any fast food restaurant in Huntsville, Alabama. Back in when I was living in Huntsville, I wasn't even born here, but, you know, there wasn't a lot of traffic. There wasn't a lot of crazy traffic jams at the, all these fast food restaurants until the COVID-19 hit, you know, all the libraries have closed, you know, people can't go in to eat, you know, everything's crazy back then, you know, people are dying, people are getting sick. So I don't understand, um the crisis that it caused around the world. But uh, fast forward to 2022, uh, still worker shortages, you know, 
people quitting jobs, you know, not enough workers, you know, people refuse to work, people not showing up. So I understand how it felt, you know, to put so much pressure on the other workers for the people that did not show up. So I totally get that. But, you know, people are going to be upset and angry, hangry, that is, you know, and people are going to start throwing tantrums, you know, making violent threats, you know, punching the counter, throwing things, you know. There's still going to be a lot of people doing that, unfortunately. But, you know, as a restaurant worker, I used to work at a um, minimum wage job as well as a restaurant worker. I used to work at Denial, so I get the pressure um, uh, keeping up with orders, you know, taking orders, you know keeping your cool and all that stuff, I get that, so, you know, it's just like, you gotta keep your cool, you gotta be professional at all times, you know, it's just like that, so, you gotta stay calm, you gotta stay cool, and, you know, it's just, don't be like Tionis Jones, so, um, yeah, so, well, so, yeah, and, um, what else I was about to say, um, okay, what I was about to say, oh, yeah, so, um, when you go into a restaurant, you see the lobby's closed, I mean, all the uh, restaurants around the Huntsville area are opening back are open back up by now um since last year so um everything's good to go i think covid has you know died down a little bit but it hasn't gone away completely so let me remind you about that covid-19 is still around so um don't be celebrating just yet because you know the virus is still around some ways you know unless you got a vaccine of course you know you should be fine you know don't let people judge you you know just you know go on about your day and all that stuff so yeah as for me i am glad that everything about the fast food business is going back to normal but you know except the workers short worker shortages and all that stuff you know People running out of items, all that stuff. Oh, let me tell you about the time that I went to site and I wanted um, uh, ice cream slushy uh, out of the machine. But it's just not like McDonald's. I don't want Sonic to be like McDonald's. I don't think, don't, please don't think Sonic, the um, restaurant, actually is like McDonald's. But it's not because the much ice cream machine is always broken. But I don't know. Let me tell you a story. So I go into Sonic. Um, there is a huge line around the restaurant. So I go in, wait 10 minutes, as I finally order my food and all that stuff, or my ice cream, that is, the mess, restaurant manager say, oh, we're out of ice cream, we're out of ice cream. I said, what? That's another story that really pissed me off. And I had to complain, but you know, I went to another southern restaurant to see if they had any ice cream. But thank God they did have any, they did have the ice cream because I was craving for some chocolate chip cookie, uh slushy um sunday that is so it was in a cup you know and it, I, it was at the other job that i worked at um uh, when uh all the rent manager or the, my supervisor brought us all ice cream and you know i dig in tasted it and I, my mouth was jumping it was so good you know i wanted to try that again so i went to sonic trying to order ice cream told him what i want and then she said, no ice cream, no ice cream. Oh, I was so pissed off. So I had to drove another 15 minutes and then waited another 15 minutes, which is eight of my lunchtime. Went back um, after I got my ice cream, went back to my job and I had 10 minutes to eat. So after that, I immediately called the manager. Of course, I, I was very upset. So I yelled at her, honestly, I was very, I complained of what had happened and she was, told me the same thing, oh, we're out of ice cream, we're very short-headed, I'm sorry, you know, once you come in next time, we'll give you ice cream for free. I said, thank you, but, you know, no thank you. I didn't want a free ice cream, I just wanted to tell her how I feel about that situation. So, um, glad I told her about that, I was very calm, I was very professional, but except the yelling part, well, you know, people get upset. I understand people get upset at times, you know, people are angry, people are upset, but, you know, and making threats and all that stuff can get you jail time and you know it's not even worth it so um yeah so that's the story i want to talk to you about everything's out of the bag now everything's cool got that out the way i'm glad i got to tell my story of and crystal too um they also uh, shut their doors as well but you know 
I try to call, but nobody answer. I guess, you know, nobody goes to that restaurant and um, no workers there, you know, everything's empty. So it's just, it, it is what it is. So Wendy's, Crystal's, Sonic, you know, all that made me an unsatisfied customer, but it's all right. Just, you know, do better next, do better next time. And, you know, everything's cool. So, um, glad I got to tell my story for you guys, you know, the uh, restaurant shortages, the experiences of what I had, of different, of course, we have a lot of locations of the three restaurants mentioned around the Huntsville area. So, um, yeah, so got glad to, uh, I got to tell my story and I hope you enjoy this newscast. So tune in for another newscast. I got two more newscasts for the, before the big high school reunion newscast that I plan to put out, um, this Sunday so be sure to watch be sure to be on the lookout and stay tuned so until next time I'm Jerome Harden founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios I'm out peace